Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video, a quick video showing you how to manually update your Sprint Samsung Epic 4G Touch from FI27 ice cream sandwich to FL24 ice cream sandwich. It's a small maintenance update to patch the Exynos exploit on your device, so probably something you're going to want to do. It's also going to prepare your device for the Jelly Bean update, which should be coming hopefully soon. Anyways, to double check what version you're on, go ahead and go into Settings, scroll down, go to About Phone, and you will see under build number the last four digits FI27, Android 4.0.4. .4. I believe this update is still 4.0.4, .4, uh, so just kind of keep that in mind. But anyways, let's go ahead and update it. This is for complete stock. If you're rooted, I do not think it's going to work. You can try it. You might lose root access if it does work, but uh, complete stock with stock recovery. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. You can go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Um, that'll take you to probably my website where you can download the file needed. Once you download the appropriate file, go ahead and go into your app drawer. Go into my file. Well, not, you don't need to, but transfer the device, the file, over to your external SD card. So once you download it on your PC, you can transfer it on over to your external SD card. You must have a micro SD card, otherwise this will not work. And then go ahead and scroll down, and here you will see the uh, file FI27 to FL24 zip. Just make sure that file, you don't need to rename it, just make sure it is on your external SD card right on the root of it. And once you've done that, we are ready to go. You can just power off your Epic 4G Touch. And once fully powered off, go ahead and press and hold volume up and the power button at the same time. Keep them held down until the Samsung screen lights up and then go ahead and let go. So let go once that lights up and then it will take us into our stock recovery. Like so. So here we go. This would be Android system recovery. Now to install the update, you use volume up and down to navigate the power button to select. Highlight apply update from external storage. Press the power button. Then go ahead and navigate down to that FI27 to FL24 zip. Just select it with the power button. Then it will show a progress bar and run through the update for us. So there's that progress bar. Uh, if it fails, you might want to try and re-download the update zip. You can also, you want to double check and make sure your base band version and your build version match up. Alright, so it looks like it's going to sit at the screen for a little while while it runs through the update. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> All right, now it looks like the update is done installing and it automatically rebooted my device. If it does not, just hit reboot system now with the power button, but you will see Samsung Galaxy S2, it'll boot up. Um, it does not have a new boot up screen. Uh, the boot, first boot up might take a little bit longer just because it did do an update. It might say updating applications once it boots up, but I'll be back once it is fully booted up. All right, so just boot it up. You'll see Android is upgrading. Depending on how many applications you have, that could take a little while. But uh, here we go. It looks like it is installing some applications as well. All right, and here we go. I'm, phone has booted up. I'm going to go into Settings, scroll all the way down, go to About Phone, and you will now see build number says FL24, as does baseband version. So there you have it. It is 4.0.4 .4 still. Um, as I said, it fixed the Exynos exploit. Also, you might want to go into Settings and go into More. And then you will see under mobile networks, there's connections optimizer. That was brought back. They did remove it, but they did uh, bring it back. It says setup is not finished yet. Please try again later. Uh, but if you go into connections optimizer, you might want to uncheck it if your Wi-Fi is turning on and off randomly and you don't want it to. That's just a quick tip there. So that's it. That's how to manually update from FI27 to FL24. I will do a how to root on FL24 video pretty soon. So if you want to wait for that, hopefully that video will be outdated soon and the update to Jelly Bean will be very soon as well. So just kind of uh, hoping there. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. All right, so it looks like it's going to sit at the screen for a little while while it runs through the update. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! There's a reason she can flap it out. <laughs> Ew. Dude, I can't get it! Oh! Woo! It's a boy! 
How do you let it get that full? 